Hello, I'm a Tuba judge and I bless God for this week. Listen, it's a great week. You know why? Because the Lord is going to cause His word and His truth to come to you. Now, every time I share these things with you, the joy is I receive from the Lord and I release it to you. And I know it's a blessing because it's a blessing to me also. Praise God. So I know this week is going to be a blessed week for you. So listen, take every word we share, meditate on it, apply it in your life and you will surely see results. Praise God. There is nothing I'm sharing with you that I've not tested and I've not proven. Now that's the beauty of the Word of God. You can prove the Word of God and you see that it works. Praise God. Now, I've been sharing with you on the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And listen, this is what the whole kingdom of God is about. It's about Jesus. Now, if you don't know Him, then you are, you are not even certain you're a member of the kingdom. You've not grounded yourself in the kingdom. You know what I'm talking about. You know, you know you, you're, you're in a place and you're just floating. And that's, that's how you are when you don't know Jesus. And when I mean know Jesus, I'm not talking about I've heard about Him. You know, some people even preach Him, but they don't know Him. Now, let me put it this way. Does Jesus know that you know him? Did you get that? Does he know that you know him? Or are you just one of those followers that you're hoping that Jesus will... You know, when you know him, you don't hope that he answers your prayers. No, you don't. When you know him, you know when you pray that he has heard you and he has... You know, that's why he says, if we pray according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he has heard us, we know that we have our petition, our petition granted. How do we know that he has heard us? Because we prayed according to his will. How did we know his will? Because we know him. Praise God. You know, many people make this mistake. Let me check the will of God from the scriptures. And then you find this, this, okay, I think this is the will of God. So we are going to pray. Come on. God, it's not like something you design on the board. No, he is one who is in a relationship. It's a relationship. So you don't try to figure him out. No, you don't. You go before him and let him talk to you. Now, this week, I'm going to be sharing with you on the attitude that enhances your knowledge of God. The attitude that enhances your knowledge of God. Very important message, you know. That I'm going to be sharing with you. Now, let, let's go to um, first, Second Peter chapter 1. Now, you know, this, this, you know, we've been on this Peter since the beginning of this year. Praise God. Now, he says, Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. Now, notice verse 4. It says, whereby are giving unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss. Now, verse 5 is where we're really going to. Now, it says, And besides this, giving all diligence, I want you to follow me now. If you miss a word that I speak right now, you'll miss everything I'm trying to tell you. Now he says, and besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Now notice, he says, add to your faith. He didn't say, add faith. He said, add to your faith. Now, meaning, remember we're talking about the attitude that enhances your knowledge of God. Now he says, add to your faith Hold on. It's your responsibility to do this. If I say, add salt to that food. Now, what does that mean? You go, take up the measure of salt that you need and you add it to the food, right? Okay. But you see, I can't say, um, I can't say, add um, sweetness to that food. I can't say that. Because... 
for that food to be sweet, lots of things have to be right. So there is nothing that you can say, okay, um, it's time to add sweetener to the food. You know, maybe some people do that. I think I've seen some people even put sugar in, in rice that they cook or in yam that they boil. <laughs> Praise God. All sort of things people do. Praise God. Now, whatever reason, I don't know some. Maybe it's good, maybe whatever it is. Now, there are certain things that I can't say add. If the food is going to be sweet, there is no one thing that you're going to add to the food that will give it that taste. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. But you see, there are certain things that you should add. And then you know when to add them. Praise God. But he didn't tell us to add faith. No, he didn't tell us to add faith. Why, did why didn't he tell us to add faith? I'll tell you why. Because it is not your place to add faith. So what do you mean? The Bible says, Faith cometh. Faith cometh. Now you see, you don't, you don't go take faith. Faith comes to you. Now, how does faith come? It says it comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Now, now, actually, that translation, that, that, that word is supposed to be put this way. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the voice of God. So if it is not the voice of God you hear, it is not faith. See, you, you, you don't get faith by, you know, I'm going to talk about faith tomorrow. So, so we'll get this thing really settled that you will understand. Praise God, because I've got to stop here because of time. But hear me. You don't add faith by yourself. Faith comes to you. And before you begin to talk about the knowledge of God, faith must come to you. And that's where the journey begins. Praise God. Listen, have a wonderful day today. And God bless you and open doors for you today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.